Welcome everybody, this is Commander Ramsey and i uh, got another uh, Japanese battleship video. I'm reviewing the, uh, the Japanese Naval Empire's suite of ships in the month of May. This is the uh, Congo and this happens to be one of the uh, premium versions of the Congo back uh, I think in 2016, 2017 I was uh, earned uh, four of these ships of various camo colors but basically they're all the same in terms of their premium capabilities uh, the ship does uh, have some advantages over its tech tree counterpart the plain Jane Congo uh, has a one second quicker reload on its 14 inch guns but can fire an additional two kilometers so you can get out to around 21 kilometers with this ship uh, and that's without the uh, spotter plane so you can get some really long distance shots the uh, anti-aircraft capabilities of the uh, ARP Congo uh, there's uh, larger uh, longer distant guns as compared to the uh, tech tree version and here I get a fire started uh, immediately on the uh, conning tower there of the fuso and I'm heading here trying to get into a position where I'm in between the two caps where I might be able to provide uh, battleship fire to both uh, A and B cap zones. But I'm starting off with my customary uh, HE shells at distance, trying to get some fire started. I'll include the uh, captain build and uh, uh, ship build at the end of the video as usual. A lot of activity over here in the A-cap. You notice there are uh, four destroyers for each team. So I'm going to have to watch out for uh, torpedoes. Of course, uh, a ship at this low of a tier does not have any hydro capabilities. So you have to use uh, help from your friends as well as some common sense. I switched to AP there in hopes to maybe get uh, some good strong citadel shots. He uh, turned away as most cruisers do. They're driving in a zigzag pattern most of the time. Looks like somebody got him with some torpedoes. So I move my target. Uh, the uh, destroyer has decided to try to edge out of the cap. So I thought I would fire on this Omaha. The Omahas are pretty much glass cannons, so anybody that plays those, uh, my hat's off to you. So I citadeled him. Using my uh, favorite uh, multi-blue camo, thinking it does have some uh, help in uh, messing with the uh, enemy's eyes, his vision, because the backdrop of the ocean is very similar to color. Hopefully it'll be harder for them to pick out uh, my upper belts versus my lower belts. And there I got another citadel, uh, this time on a, a battleship. I believe that's an Italian battleship. Caviar. Right now I'm getting pelted, uh, looks like probably by a cruiser over there. Maybe the destroyer. I've got two fires with uh, 40 seconds. That's a lot of uh, fire damage I'm going to encounter. So I go ahead and hit the repair on that to put out the fire. Let's see if I can finish off this uh, pesky cruiser.
Can't do it on that. He's firing AP, which is uh, bouncing off of me. Asking for some help to try to take out this cruiser before he sets another fire on me. And I got him. And I sound the horn of victory on that. And my friendlies take out the battleship, so things are looking up over in this cap. Still some destroyers, but I've got a uh, another battleship here making a run to the uh, B cap. I'll try to get some shots on him. And I've got a good one there. Uh, three penetrations and 11,000 damage. So I'm going to decide to move off over in this direction. You can see the uh, enemy has uh, let many uh, torpedoes go in my general direction. That's what happens when you stay in the same spot for very long. You can uh, definitely attract torpedoes. A little more damage. Oh, and another citadel, this time on the uh, battleship Fusil. My goal is to get over in firing position so we can start trying to take the uh, B cap. Looks like our friendlies are trying to secure the C cap. <coughs> Excuse me. Fuso's coming around the corner. Decided I'm probably showing a little too much broadside here, so I'm trying to angle off. Fortunately, he had his guns going in the other direction. And I get some other damage on him. And it's a little bit of secondary damage. He gets a good one on me. That was my fault. Fortunately, I had my uh, heel on standby there to regain some of that damage. Now I've got the New York trying to get into the B cap. We're starting to get a pretty good lead. Waiting for him to kind of get a good sideways position. I'm angled in hopes to reduce any further damage. And I got a couple penetrations on him. Not much to write home about though. He's in a world of hurt because he's running into two of our destroyers. He's going to be tucking in behind that small island and I'm going to lose the ability to fire on him. Looks like we've uh, just about got this game wrapped up. It was a quick game. You can see we're only uh, barely uh, eight minutes into the game. And uh, occasionally I'll play the uh, tier five, uh, six, and seven. Uh, I find playing some of the old ships pretty fun, but also to build up my commander XP, which helps to build up my uh, commanders. I think that's probably the last shot I'm going to get on him because I'm coming in behind an island. They get high caliber there. The uh, Congo is a is a good ship. The premium version, I would say, has some good advantages. Uh, one second reload quicker on the main battery. Two kilometers longer distance out to 21 kilometers. That's without the spotter. Uh, little stronger uh, anti-aircraft uh, gunnery and also there's uh, I think you get three or four thousand more on your hit points so uh, I can't recall how much the, the uh, Congo uh, premium versions are even if they're even still available I've had these uh, ARP version of these ships for a long time uh, they come in some neon colors I prefer uh, not to use those is my uh, strategy to use this multi-blue colored uh, uh, camo that's available in your port screen. I think it's uh, several thousand uh, credits you have to pay for it. I wish it was available on a permanent basis, but uh, Wargaming doesn't provide that. Anyway, it's just an experiment I'm doing uh, thinking that the multi-blue camo may have a good... You can see how it 
really matches well into the ocean color and at a mid to longer range distance I'm thinking and theorizing that the enemy will have a little trouble figuring out which part of the side of the ship is the lower belt versus the mid and upper belts. Anyway, I had a really good game on that, almost 109,000, which is uh, unusual for a tier 5 battle. So I was quite happy with that. I switched to AP pretty quick in the battle, so I only got one fire in this particular game. Um, most of the damage was just through uh, penetrations of the AP shells and uh, three citadels. Uh, came in third, surprisingly, on the XP, given the high score. And uh, two of our destroyer players uh, beat me out, so I gave them good kudos. They did a good job. And you can see they had a total of five ships between them. Anyway, uh, coming up here, I'll go through the uh, ship build, as well as the uh, commander skill uh, build that I've used on this particular game. Being a premium ship, of course, I moved over one of my uh, premium commanders. Here's kind of a summary on the damage in the game. A uh, little bit of damage on the uh, cruiser there. Fuso got quite a bit of damage. Uh, mostly AP shells. You can see fire damage, only one fire for about 5,500. That's pretty low compared to most of my uh, battleship games. Start out using HE shells. I usually get multiple fires before I get in decent range where I feel like I can make some AP shells stick instead of bouncing all the time. Got pretty good damage on the uh, Kabor in the uh, New York. See, I only uh, fired about 24 HE shells, uh, 72 on the AP, which is about a almost a 50% there, which is uh, actually pretty high for me. I usually don't get that many good shots in. Looking at the uh, credit page here, I always go down and look at how well I did on the uh, Commander XP, but I recall I did not use the uh, blue, uh, blue bonus flags. Uh, on this particular game. Uh, I'm getting a little bit low on them now. But nonetheless, uh, I did use uh, Commander Yamamoto since he has the faster turret traverse. I went ahead and equipped this with Damage Control Party Mod 1. I had one of those extras. That gets me out to 15 seconds. That way if I had any submarines in the game I could get some homing avoidance. Aiming Systems Mod 1, I use that to help on the dispersion. Pretty standard uh, signal build here for my battleships. Did not use the secondary flag because it's so poor to begin with. There's no sense wasting those signal flags. Yeah, you can see over here the economic bonuses. I had them pretty low because I wasn't expecting to do that well uh, with a tier 5 ship as far as its total output. Here just reviewing the Yamamoto skills, there's your greasing the gears which really moves those old slow guns of the Congo class down. Other than that, uh, the build's pretty much the same as I use on uh, much of my uh, battleship builds. Hope you enjoyed uh, this game. Check out my other Japanese battleships uh, that I'm putting on my YouTube page, and I've got a few more to go on the upper tier before the end of the month. Thanks for tuning